What's up guys? It's me Smile the Power and today I'm gonna have a different video for you guys. We're playing Minecraft again. Yeah, so today uh, I'm gonna show you my ergonomic desk that I decided to make uh, for no reason at all totally. So I have two thousand dollars. I'm gonna spend it all and this is what I came up with. All the links and uh, money counts are in the description below so check them out if you want to see what I decided to use decided to build and make with my two thousand dollars so let's get into this so this is my ergonomic desk of course there's no walls cuz I don't know where exactly this would go in my house so basically we're gonna start off with the simplest thing so we're gonna start off with this chair this chair is ergonomically friendly because of its super cushiony uh, butt bottom whatever bottom bottom uh, softness and how soft the back is this is a, a race car kind of chair thing perfect for sitting for a long time those YouTube people who game a lot they sit there for a long time and they feel no pain or aches because of this super super soft cushion uh, protection and and on this chair. Also, here we got this rolly chair, ergonomically friendly because you're able to move around, move uh, to the left of this desk or to the right. And also, this thing right here, you might not be able to tell, but you can uh, adjust the the angle of this back uh, back spine. So if you're tired, maybe you can lie back, or this can re reduce the amount of pain in your back. Next of all, uh, this chair, obviously, it can move up and down depending on where you want to sit. So, yeah, this is the chair. This is why that this is ergonomically friendly. Next, right below the chair, we have this uh, white uh, uh, cover thing that covers the floor. One, first of all, it covers the floor. And second of all, uh, you can easily uh, roll your chair across the ground uh, with no force therefore decreasing the amount of pain in your legs when you're trying to move and next uh, we have this this cushion down here I don't really think I could replicate it well in Minecraft but if you want to check it out once again it's in the description so we have this uh, cushion which uh, when you're sitting you could put your legs on so you will feel very com comfortable Sorry, I can't pronounce that. But anyways, when you sit on this, it's very comfortable, and you could um, uh, put your feet on it, and it's ergonomically friendly because it will reduce the pain of your legs because and your foot because if you keep on leaving your foot on the hardwood floor here, it will hurt after a while. So you want to maybe keep your legs up, therefore making you feel more comfortable when you're doing your work so next up is the big uh, big object which is the one thousand two hundred dollar desk this desk I chose it for many reasons this uh, small part of this L-shaped desk which ends here uh, I couldn't really move it up and down because it's very very difficult in Minecraft so from here this iron uh, iron column here it's proving that this desk can move up and down so if you're t if your uh, bottom is starting to hurt from sitting on this chair which is highly unlikely once again because it's super soft we have this uh, control system over here which can go up and down it's, you can set modes uh, therefore it's very uh, convenient if you're tired, maybe switch to mode 4 or mode 1, etc. So this uh, whole small desk can move up. So if you're tired of sitting, you could stand up. On this desk, oh, whoops. <laughs> On this desk, uh, we will have my computer, which is included, not included in the money. My computer, it's not very good. But uh, there's also the monitor here. This is my monitor. I did not, does not count in the project. It's an Asus monitor. Mm. From the banners I made which is pretty cool so uh, connecting to the monitor which I use most often because of its big screen and uh, it's l less bright and you can easily see more things so we have this 
keyboard right here. This is a, you might be thinking this is a very awkward, weird kind of shaped keyboard, but this keyboard is shaped on a slant. So when you, when you are typing, your hands are in a slant. So, uh, your, your, your two bones in your forearm do not cross over, therefore not causing any stress. As you can see, uh, it can rain in my room apparently. So let me just, uh, clear that. And it's thundering now. Great. Well, obviously this won't happen, but this is Minecraft, so yeah, it can rain. Also, this, uh, this keyboard comes in three. This is the keyboard itself with all the numbers, letters, the number pad by itself, and the mouse. So the number pad uh, is just flat, but it's ergonomically friendly because you won't have to carry it around always, and you can just leave it on the desk here, and it's not always mandatory. And it's usually just this, whoops, <laughs> this uh, main desk, uh, main keyboard here, which is soft as well because of this, uh, this wool here that is keeping your wrists down and also making it uh, less stressful for your wrists when you're typing. And moving on, we have this mouse. This mouse is uh, made by Microsoft. Obviously, it does not look like a mouse. I tried my best. But this mouse is shaped in a way so that your hands fit perfectly on the mouse, therefore reducing any wrist uh, issues or any finger problems. So your thumb slides right in between uh, the, the bottom of the mouse and top of the mouse, I guess. But you can see the picture in the description below. Uh, you can see it. Uh, you can see that the thumb can easily fit through. And furthermore, on this. Uh, mouse uh, on in this mouse area this the mouse pad uh, is specialized uh, for taking care of the wrist because of this uh, little I guess cotton bump thing so that your wrist does not always constantly touch the hard uh, piece of wood so we have this uh, yeah this a wool thing over here so it uh, protects your wrist and it reduces aches on your wrist especially when you're using the mouse so that's double your fingers are comfortable and your wrists are comfortable so moving on right here it is my organizer this is for or uh, organizing all my stationary items like in here we'll get to that later and that beautiful pen I made but this uh, is a stationary kit and you can put everything everywhere this is for my organization, and once again, ergonomically friendly, because it, Im it improves uh, how fast I do things, because if everything's organized, I can just pick up what I want easily. And secondly, there's a lot of space here. You can put whatever you want, and overall, I think this is very easy for your hand and head to remember where you uh, place things if you need anything. So moving on, we have this... Uh, pen I call it so this pen is very expensive $33 for a pen you might be wondering why I should spend $33 for a pen but you should spend that money just uh, to keep your fingers good and make sure when you're writing it feels comfortable I can't really replicate it but if you uh, go down in the description uh, you will see the pen and if you click on it you will see uh, this blue uh, mold in the center that fits your hand perfectly so basically it does two things it's ergonomically friendly protects your hand and if you have a, a bad I guess stance for for writing if you write awkwardly in like a not the proper way to write it teaches you also because of that specific mode uh on the pen otherwise you wouldn't be able to write properly so that's two for two for one so that, i i think that's pretty worth it over here we have uh some wool blocks no i'm kidding we have um the pencil modes obviously i can't build pencils here but when I'm using any pencil, mechanic slash lit pencil, or um, regular pencils, you just slide these on easy. There's like 
12 in the set or 6 in the set, I believe. It's pretty worth it. And you put them on all your pens to make sure every single time you're writing, you have uh, a mold to follow just like that pen over there. Therefore, uh, correcting how you write and also ergonomically friendly uh, to reduce the pain. Next here, uh, you might be wondering why I decided to buy a printer. But I think uh, printers are important because in many uh, homework occasions and for school, you got to print tons of things. And I picked this printer especially because uh, it, it wasn't very expensive, but it has all the features. So you can like scan items through here like and here, and it comes out here, which is just like a regular printer. But the thing I really enjoy about this printer is that there is a screen that is actually pretty wide. I would say like this wide on here, so you can easily click. Convenience. You won't just you won't have to press uh, buttons on on the side, which is annoying. So this is very convenient, and you can easily uh, print all your stuff super super quick, and that's why it's ergonomically friendly. So moving on to the next thing, there's there's three drawers here once again. Uh, ergonomically friendly because you can put whatever you want in these three drawers all right moving on next up here there's a whole closet for you to put as much stuff as you want tons of space here but we're gonna move on to this binder organizer so I have a lot of binders like a lot of papers and they're not very organized so I spend time trying to find them and by the time I find them I already wasted 10 minutes of my time trying to find them. So, this is why I have a binder organizer or a paper organizer or whatever you want to call it, which can fit books. So, this is ergonomically friendly, so you don't have you wouldn't have to find any uh, piece of paper. You just organize it in this. It's made out of steel mesh, which is very stable. So, if it if it falls off, it wouldn't break or anything. And yeah, that's it. And next thing is the the light. The light, um, yeah, this light is actually incredible. So this light, it's cheap price for only like 20 something. It's like on sale right now. So we got like a mode for plus and minus, increasing and decreasing how much light this produces. Obviously I can't change that because once again, this is Minecraft, but in the real world, you'll be able to change it. Next, the thing that's really cool about this is that there's four options. There's reading, studies, relax and sleep. So if you click on one of those, it will change how bright the light would be and also change the color maybe from red to yellow to reduce the brightness. So that's ergonomically friendly a lot on your eyes. So if you're like studying hard, you could change it one color and that would be super easy for you to see the computers, which is really impressive. And if you're just uh, playing games, which have a very high resolution and very bright, you're able to change this light into uh, into the color and how much it puts out with one click of a button down there. So I think we're almost done. We just have two things left. So over here, we have this stress ball. Uh, it does not look like a stress ball, but um, I tried, and that's all that matters. But this stress ball um, is very ergonomically friendly because... If you're working on a project, let's say, for like two hours and you're getting really tired, uh, you might want to put all your stress on the ball, maybe relax a bit. This ball is very squishy. Um, there's a lot of bubbles. It feels very comfortable. Maybe if you're taking your 20, 20, 20 break on your 20 minutes uh, on the other side. Oh, we blew some stuff up there, but that's okay. Um, we Oh, whoops. <laughs> fail, fail, fail. Okay, so we have this right over here. And this stress ball, once again, it helps your wrist, it helps your hand relax, it puts all the stress away for a little while, then when you come back to work, you can use it again, squish it. I personally love having a, a squishy ball there because, you know, when I get bored or watching YouTube videos or watching lessons, doing homework, I can squish it, it relaxes you a lot, and it uh, makes your productivity very, very high. So... Last but not least, we have this paper shredder. In my house, there's lots of papers and... Oh, train again. But 
I'm going to wrap this up really quickly. There's lots of papers. If you want to shred it, you can shred it. It's easy. It won't get messy anywhere. And that's about it. And paper, you can also shred CDs and credit cards. So that's it. It's raining. But see you next time. Bye-bye.